I grew up in the mountains outside of Santa Cruz, California. Up until I was 10 years old, we didn't have screens in the household at all, didn't even have a television. But my parents did own a movie theater, the Nickelodeon in Santa Cruz, California. And it was an art house, which was really kind of fun in that it would show everything that wasn't Hollywood. It would show art movies and foreign films. And so I grew up watching My Life as a Dog or Repo Man or Buckaroo Banzai or Cinema Paradiso. And that was really when I got my introduction to cinematic arts. I discovered my passion for cinematography, I think, rather late in life for most people, in that I was really, I was 30 years old before I went to film school. I did take my first baby steps into photography when, uh, in my last two years of high school, I bought an enlarger at a swap meet and I put it in my parents' basement so I could print black and white eight by tens. And then I developed the negative in the little canister. And then I would practice printing with the enlarger and I absolutely loved it. When I found the Los Angeles Film School, um, I was absolutely hooked. It was a brand new school. I was in the very first class in September 99, and it was a shell of a school that it is now. The, uh, the theater was under construction. The sound stage was under construction. We only had the fourth floor. I think we had two Avids. We were handed XL1, Canon XL1 digital cameras, and uh, sent on our way to go shoot. And um, it was wonderful. It was like the wild, wild west. We had a really great time and uh, I absolutely loved it. Had been pursuing the craft ever since. I feel like I've clawed myself into this industry, you know, job by job. Some people have a series of small breaks that kind of get their career going, and that, I feel like that's what's happened with me. Each job leading to slightly a bigger job, et cetera. The one thing that I think that has happened is my career has run, I think, parallel to the expansion of broadband. And with broadband, of course, came the streamers. Shooting for the streamers early on was what really gave me a boost. It started with sketch comedy shorts at Super Deluxe, and then Funny or Die, and then that led to Adult Swim, and then Hulu and Netflix, and then finally I've been shooting lately for more the broadcasters like Fox and ABC. My first real show was Children's Hospital for Adult Swim, and it was there that I met a, a host of talented directors and writers whom I still shoot for to this day. In fact, I just worked with Blake Bell on Bless This Mess, David Wayne's project, um, Wet Hot American Summer. It had this built-in fan base from his 2001 feature, and he entrusted me to shoot the Netflix series, and it was really fun to shoot. My proudest career accomplishment is the Netflix biopic, A Futile and Stupid Gesture. It's a period piece about Doug Kinney and Henry Beard, and they founded National Lampoon. So it was a biopic about comics who then went on to write and establish a company that still is alive to this day, National Lampoon. And it was a really great movie to shoot because we got to explore the late 60s and the early 70s. I had a really great relationship still do with David Wayne, who is the director, and we worked well together and stitching together ideas and putting together scenes and figuring out groovy transitions that would play well into the film. What I love most about working in the entertainment industry is contributing. It's collaborating to make something really good, like pursuing quality. I have the greatest crew in Hollywood. I know a lot of people might say that. When I'm on set and when things are moving along at a clip, all for the common goal of making whatever you're making the best it can be, I'm in a very happy state. I love the collaboration and I love the precision. And I love the fact that on set every day it is game day. And when you are doing your best, surrounded by people you love, crafting a story, nothing's better. Every day at work is different. Every project is different. Every story is different. And so I never dread going to work and I love what I do.